let's have a look at the next story. So, undersleeping is the next sugar scare and health time bomb. Yeah, uh, undersleeping as opposed to oversleeping. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, this is interesting because, you know, we are sleeping less than we used to. Uh, uh, the, the experts say we're sleeping two hours less than we did in the 1960s. And, you know, they link this to an increase in heart disease, cancers, diabetes and obesity. Now, um, it highlights an important thing that you know we we have to go through these light dark cycles in our 24 hour day and these are circadian rhythms and and and, and when it's dark you, you go to bed you sleep and when you're asleep lots of things are happening your body's producing uh, tissue repair cell regeneration the, the brain is as it being reset as it were hormone levels are changing so sleep is extremely important but what what the researchers were saying that in these days when you know you might be watching tv for many many hours you've got the phone you've got the laptops uh, uh, and also we've got leds and uh, eco-friendly fluorescent tubes all of these devices and uh, types of lighting put out a lot of blue light from the blue end of the spectrum and the blue light interferes with, with your sleep with, with, with your, your patterns th through the 24 the thing hour is, cycle it's tough to nail this down because different people need a different amount of sleep. Yeah, on average, uh, what should you be getting? Well, well, no, this is it. I mean, we, we all need different amounts of sleep, and it depends on the individual. So, how do you know if you're getting enough sleep? The scientists say, well, look, are you sleepy the next day? Well, if you're sleepy the next day, you're not getting enough sleep. So it's not rocket science, then? No, but n not tired. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they do differentiate tiredness uh, against sleepiness. So if you're feeling sleepy, you've not been getting enough sleep. Yeah. OK. All right, Dr. Right. Chris, Chris, that's fair enough. Thank you very enough. much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.